Are you seasoned enough or a big enough sports buff to remember this mind-blowing buzzer beater right here in Dayton? Ed Young was just a sophomore when his basket upset DePaul and clinched UD a trip to the 1984 NCAA tournament. Young, who made the shot, and Damon Goodwin talked with Emily Wood today to give us a look back at their exciting run to the Elite Eight. Jack and Dever, it was this time 30 years ago the Dayton Flyers beat the Washington Huskies in the Sweet 16. They will forever be one of the most successful teams in Flyer history, and many of the players still keep in touch, and they, of course, love to watch UD basketball. 54, 50 For UD basketball fans, the 1984 season is one of the best. We caught up with starters Ed Young and Damon Goodwin. The former college roommates think this year's squad has the makings of another Elite Eight appearance. Well, they have as much as a chance as anybody, and, and if they just go out and continue to play their game, it'll be exciting. I totally appreciate how those guys feel now. I just wish that they could appreciate what they're going through while they're going through it. 30 years later, Goodwin still lives a basketball life as the head coach at Capital University, and Young still lives in the Miami Valley with his wife and two sons. They credit much of their college success to coach Don Donaher and their star player, number 22. We had a very good player in Roosevelt Chapman. We got the ball to him in the right places at the right time, and, and everybody else just kind of fed off him, and, and uh, I think that was the, the secret to our success. To make it to the Sweet 16, Chapman scored 41 points to beat the Oklahoma Sooners in a major upset. Chapman now lives in South Dakota and talked with us over the phone about the 84 team. We boxed out extremely well, so we boxed them out very low, so they really couldn't jump, and it was a team effort. I just remember getting beat up. If it weren't for my teammates, you know, helping out all the time, you know, I'm sure you know, I would have got beaten up even more. All three agree Coach Donaher and Coach Miller have different styles, but they share the same common denominator, a passion to win. You have to make the free throws, you have to get all those balls, you have to box out, and you have to execute. This is not a time to change what you do or how you do things. This is a time to believe in what you do and believe in your teammates and, and to continue to do the things that got you here. When I talked with Roosevelt Chapman on the phone, he was actually in his car driving all the way from South Dakota to Memphis. That's a 15-hour drive, but he says he'll do anything for his UD Flyers. Emily Wood, Fox 45 News.